Hey everybody, we're back with more X-Men 97. This is season one, episode eight. Extinction is tolerance. This is part one of a three-part finale. Very exciting stuff. Uh, we're getting into the territory of like what I remember. So like what I remember and don't remember. So this is relatively going to be somewhat of more of a, maybe like something, you know, a little bit of a blind watch here. I've, I've known a lot going into a lot of these episodes of what might be happening and whatnot. So uh, it'd be nice to actually kind of be surprised a little bit on some stuff. So I'm really excited for that. And interesting enough, I just want to make note in the comments, some of you mentioned, and I didn't notice, and I went back and looked at it, that at the end with Bastion and Magneto, there are three more seats next to Magneto. So that's really interesting on who's going to be in those seats. I mean, Xavier is probably one of them who is planned for. The other two, I'm not sure, but this could maybe be like someone mentioned, like a Four Horsemen type of thing. Is this leading to apocalypse and whatnot so we'll see but yeah let's get right into it subscribe if you enjoy this video if you want to see more x-men 97 like the video uh definitely helps out with that algorithm appease the algorithm gods as we like to say on youtube but yeah let's watch have you two had a chance to speak apparently his mutant power includes vanishing from any room i enter. Uh, yeah it must be a bit awkward <laughs> any word why bishop's not with him he That's a good point. They were separated in the time stream. Nathan, a cable, landed in the future because he needs his father. As much as he won't admit that. Bang up. His name is Bastion. In my timeline. Oh, here we go. Fall up from Genosha to get backing for his Prime Sentinel program. The Prime Sentinels are created using the same techno organic virus Sinister infected me with. Yeah, see, I, I, I brought that up. If true, few episodes ago that's what i thought it was living weapons capable of reproducing designed to replace mutants like humans did neanderthal dude that's scary exactly. bastion's evolutionary war lasted 300 years wow so another dystopia where logan's the last to die <laughs> oh my god morph <laughs> saved humanity by upgrading them. wow and xavier's dream came true mutants ushered in a bright and peaceful future as its backbone wow wow didn't you stop genosha take a seat logan simmer down Joan. <laughs> i've tried it all over and over oh got a little synth wave going on the music we are temporally pulled away from the event strange that's interesting the mystics of camartage speak of absolute points who could travel to the very moment genosha fell but time would stop him. Madeline was happy when she died. Yep, he showed up, yep. We're assuming Madeline's dead. How are you? Yes. How many times? So he's Not tried to stop this. Wow, the a bunch. But at least now, here, today, I can avenge her. There are too many question marks. Bright eyes. Like, who exactly is Bastion? But best guess, he's some type of backup android that Master Mold uploaded into after you took him down. Yeah, I like how uh, much of a mystery he is to them. We need to make sure he doesn't do the same thing. Oh, this they're, else. they're about to bicker. A couple centuries late in the overprotective dead. Huh? Oh boy. Stop it. And our empire shall they a new Oh, they leaked the footage. Oh no, because yeah, the whole world believed him to be dead. Who now fear the X-Men faked their mentors. Oh, they're already painting the X-Men in a negative light. Are the reports that Xavier's assassin Henry Gyrick was found murdered in Mexico. This is part of the plan. It's starting. Yeah. Bastion's been playing us from the get The public image of the X-Men need to be tarnished. Ten cases of wine. Oh, is that Stryker? I'm hosting a fundraiser here for Genosha. The X-Men certainly aren't. We were trying to keep you people from oh the professor again. <laughs> Don't believe that a few bad apples spoil the whole bunch. Uh, you know what? This has already this gone sour. You can help us. Miss Gray? Yes. And please call me Jean. <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> what a gentleman. First name too. I should have reached out to her. With the psychic connection we shared, it's as if Madeline's memories are my own. I love the music that they play in the background of, of dialogue scenes. I remember him kicking inside me. Cravings for oranges with cottage cheese. It's such a, it's such a vibe. I remember telling my friend Storm that I wanted him to be born human. Human or a mutant. He's perfect. But it's all a lie. 
because you weren't the one there. It, it's wild. Echoing I can't imagine. Emotion. If you remember how it felt to hear them. Hmm. But he's Madeline's blood. I met Rogue years later. We could have been enemies or strangers. Instead, Adopted siblings. Our mother, we chose not to abandon each other. Yeah. And simply be family. Blood is blood. Dude. Family is a choice. Nightcrawler. He always knows what to say. <laughs> Make it fast, McCoy. The villagers got their hands on pitchforks and torches. Oh, wow. They're outside the mansion. Ooh, look at the look at his reflection in the glass. His very own Dr. Mengele. <laughs> oh! Settle down being a Nazi pup. Oh! Bastion. Pink pens brimming with She's there. Wow. That's my dream. Sinister thinks he's playing Bastion. Dude, are you kidding? Oh. No, I swear. Are you sure? I mean, I, you know what? I I'm should sorry. say. I, I believe that she didn't know. For everything. Oh. Forgive me. Curse so you you helped though. To me. You must have something to say. You helped. Your ignorance does not. Uh. <laughs> and apologies. I can't speak. I, I was just very upset seeing her there. <laughs> Ray just doesn't excuse her for what happened there at Genosha. So let's see what she does moving forward. Hopefully you can make it right. Or help make it right. This is no Sentinel facility. This is Bastion's childhood home. Oh. Stark Expo. There's a Sentinel toy. Ooh, you hear like a little music box in the in the score. Ooh, haunting ambient sound. Sense another mind. Oh. My son said you'd come. I could hear that breathing. Oh. There, the big one. They were expecting them. Please, mm. make yourselves at home while I pack. Oh, that, viol that violin is so beautiful. Guess we play along. I mean, what else can you do? Oh, yeah, look at it. Look at the photo. Oh, this is like playing out like a horror movie. <laughs> Who could hear things? Machines. Oh. The school janitor being infected. By something from the future, Sentinel technology. Nimrod. Nimrod, yeah. We knew Nimrod. I mean, we saw Nimrod in the opening. New parts, past, present, and future. But I'm pretty sure, like, Bastion is Nimrod or something like that. I don't remember exactly. Aw. What, what a wonderful mother. No! He's descended of every Sentinel from Master Mold to Nimrod. Wow. Mutated, evolved, yeah. Born. I kind of remember something like that. I think. <laughs> but I also said bully and underdog too long, and people start feeling sorry for them. Mm. Like when our village idiot, Guy Rick, made a martyr of Xavier and tolerance. <laughs> but really, guilt. Overload their bandwidth. Too much to compute. Because when your skin's not in the game, Apathy's your answer. Wow. That was quite a little speech. Oh! Doom! Next time I'll send memos. Your Sentinel program can't go wild. Oh, and Zemo! Wow! Noted. Who else? Dr. Cooper, stay with you to ensure those memos go out. Nifty. Nifty. Oh my god, dude. Bastion's personality. <laughs> Genosha's not genocide. It's time management. Ooh. In a hundred years, mutants outnumber humans ten to one. Imagine putting it that way. Back today to save tomorrow. Enter Operation Zero yep. Tolerance. Yep. OZT. Trask. I can't believe she's working. Was been working for him. Before today, this fellow. You knew something was up with her. I know a lot of people are thinking Mystique. I kind of thought so as well, but it's okay. Dial up chat rooms. Some people made a really good point. <laughs> Builders lay about off a dozen workers. 
being detected by sentinels. With the strength of ten men, the human community is scared. Of course they are. Dude, that music picking up. Do these people even know what you're doing to them? Oh, I admit the more technical details, but they know they're joining something far greater than themselves. <laughs> really? <laughs> After this, they wake up in their daily lives with technopathic no augmentation. Maybe a mutant flirts with one of them at a local dive bar and. Yeah, and they're powerful. We saw, we got a glimpse of that. Weaponizing civilians. Yeah, it's fucked up. Like a dinosaur fretting the fate of an asteroid before impact. I'm more concerned you're the asteroid, Bastion. <laughs> he was he looked pretty pleased with himself with that one. Oh my god, dude, he's terrifying. The final dream, he called it. Jesus, dude. Like Well, shit. He turned his mom into one. It imitates. Oh my god, dude. That's a villain. <laughs> While you give her time, <laughs> you're giving me this new outfit. Thoughts? And they established her as a very loving, caring person, too. And he does that. He does that to her. Oh. It begins. Oh, it begins. The hunt begins. Would they know they're sentinels? She's one. Not at first. They have no idea. I wonder if she's one. Yep, they're all being activated now. Oh no. This is gonna be so bad. <laughs> Holy shit. I was, I was gonna be like, are the kids? <laughs> all my stars and garters. I love that line. Yep. Damn it. Oh, this is gonna get so bad. This is gonna get a whole, whole lot worse before it gets better. It's a mutation to beat mine. Heartbreaking. Fight fire with fire, right? Now. Oh damn! It's odd. Surrender, mutants. Are we finally? <laughs> Are we finally gonna get Wolverine unleashed? <laughs> They've been kind of suppressing Wolverine this whole series. Oh, that was a great transition. Dude, that's so haunting. Wow, his ho his whole home. Everyone. Oh! That was a good choice by Morph. I almost didn't I I didn't fall for it that time. Swords? Please tell me Nightcrawler gets those swords. Dude, the black underneath the yellow coat though? That's a great look. Oh. He just used his powers in front of everybody, so that's out. Jeez, man. How many people has he turned? Oh, oh the mansion's about to burn down. Fancy a trip to the junkyard, tin woman. Yeah! <laughs> You know Wolverine means business. You know, you know, it's going down if his uniform's torn. That was awesome. That descent. Oh God, <laughs> that's so scary. That imagery. Hell yeah. I resist the inevitable, lady. I got six reasons why. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Oh my god, Kurt! No, my friend. Nine. Nine! <laughs> Ew. Gross. Dude, let's go. Oh, he has this tail. Oh, he's so graceful. What a scene. Yeah, that's the problem, though. They could just... Regenerate. Dude, I'm a sucker for an awesome circle shot. They must get them away from Rogue. Ugh, Rogue, we need you to be awake. Oh man, the this the animation's so fluid. Oh. Reminds me of X2. Oh, that's cool. That's cool that we got that perspective. When he teleports someone. 
Dude, the imagery. Dude, the shot selection in this episode. Finally! Nice! I know. <laughs> She's like, everyone can fly. Aw, that's a good way to surprise her, save her life. Oh, if you want to make an action scene more badass, thunder, lightning, and rain. Oh, God, there's so many! That's so, that's so fucking great. <laughs> I can't get over it. <laughs> Screw it. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> Nathan, get in the back. Quit bossing me around. Hank's gonna kill you. This is the third Blackbird in these many months. Third Blackbird? Cyclops like, I'm not waiting for us to crash. <laughs> oh, the drums, man, are just hitting so hard. You have a port. Ah, that smile. Plow forward. <laughs> Plow forward. <laughs> toasters while you don't screw with the summers. Yes! Love that. It's a little family moment. <laughs> the look to Gene. <laughs> a day with the summers. Dude, oh my god. Oh! Dude, how great is this fucking show? Holy shit. Wednesdays are a great day, everyone. We do not kill mutants. We save them. Don't! Oh my god. Dude, Bastion's thought of everything. Milfilu, do what the men say. God damn, man. See, Bastion wants the mansion. I kind of remember this in the story. He wants, he needs, he wants, there's info in this mansion that he wants and needs. I, I think that's what they're doing here. You saved the world. <laughs> God, that smile. That human wretch let Magneto out. Oh! Lost her mind. I'm so happy she did something. What did I say earlier? Too little. She can fix some of this. You know, she can fix some of her actions here. But what she does moving forward, she can redeem herself. You're a monster. I was born this way. Oh, jeez. Oh, that looks painful. Deja vu. As if past, present, and future didn't matter and never had. Because we always end up Ugh. in the same. Magneto knows us better than Charles ever did. No better. That most of us Magneto is right. Like Genosha has a bit of deja vu before getting on with our day. It wasn't the death or the chaos. It was a thought. Dude, how awesome would it be if Magneto gets his old costume back on? Chased by giant robots that were built to crush you. Magneto. She said the thing. Enough. Oh, enough, dude. He is ready to go. I was wondering if she was gonna. I wonder if we were gonna get that. Magneto was right. We we've been saying everyone's been saying it on Twitter. Spider-Man. Oh, I forgot his name. Cameos. Omega Red. <laughs> Dude, Magneto, let's go. Dude, she said Magneto is right. That's so awesome. We need. I need the shirt. Dude, we're gonna get some other characters, maybe, in the next two episodes. Maybe we'll actually get, like, Spider-Man and everything. Magneto actually did it. What? Saved our hide? Just shows how powerful he is. Declared war. Declared war. Charles is back. Yes! Yes! I hope that I'm not too late. Oh, these last two episodes are going to be amazing. To me, my X-Men. Yes! Storm will be back. Oh, dude. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Dude. Spider-Man. 
they showed Omega Red. They, they're, they, they're. I love that they're showing like everyone is like there's the potential to bring anyone in. Oh, Spider Man looks so good too. Oh, the like I said, I always tell you this animation is really good, man. It is especially good when it's in motion. Oh, love it. Yes, that's so great. Dude, and I love... Oh, my God, there's so much. And there's two more of these. Man, Bastion is... This is a great villain. This was, I'm glad they did this. He's so just... Oh. You know, and he and he's the best type of villain where he believes to be right, that he is the hero. And I always find those to be the best kind of villains. You know, there's villains who are just evil for evil's sake. There's villains who are just psych psychotic, you know, these villains are the ones that always hit the best, in my opinion. There's a reason why Thanos works so well, you know, in the MCU films. And, God, what they, what they set up here in this little three-part family, this little trilogy here. I love that Magneto was just like, enough. I'm done. My holding back. And he just took out them all in one shot like he did. But again, though, it's like Bastion may have foreseen some of this. He said it's too late, so it doesn't seem like he's bothered by it. There's also Magneto was right. Ah, oh. that I'm glad, dude. That's that line's been getting said by so many people, especially like on Twitter and everything. Like I'm, I'm sure a shirt's been made. Shit, I'll wear one. I'll buy one. Oh, the this that's little speech she gave in combination with what, you know, Magneto was doing was so awesome. There's so many, just, oh my God, this, this is, this is quite the story. Like they talked about Nimrod a little bit. Cause you no, know, I love how Gene was touching his possessions and trying to put a piece of story together. So I like how they did that. That was a really clever way of kind of letting us know a little bit about Bastion. And, and if I can't remember the comics correctly, I don't remember. Like, I don't know if like Bastion ends up, becoming nimrod like I, I can't remember i'm not exactly sure but oh i'm all over the place with this one like i'm sorry this is not the best breakdown in the world but it just there was so much in this episode it was so exciting this this show just keeps getting better and better each episode's just has been a fucking 10 out of 10 for me the summers don't mess with the summer. That that whole scene, him smiling, crack smile, the Gene, Gene looking at him. It's just the ah, that was too, that was wonderful as well. We got glimpses of um Zemo. Uh who else was there? It was Zemo. Um oh my god, I'm forgetting. We got glimpse shots of these other villains working with Bastion there. Uh, let me scroll back real quick. Like I said, this episode really brought some world building into it. Also, turning his whole damn hometown. Dr. Doom, that's right. I can't believe I forgot Doom. Zima, and there was other people shot in there and talking, but we didn't get who they were. And turning his whole entire hometown into Sentinel Unison's mother included, and they established that his mother was like a very supporting sweet lady, but unfortunately he's just been corrupted from a very early age from the future and everything. But my goodness, great stuff. Awesome. Love it. Can't wait for next Wednesday already. Folks, thank you for watching. I hope you had a great time with this episode. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you did enjoy the video as well. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments anything that I'm missing, anything I got wrong. Let me know your theories, your thoughts. I would love to read all that. I'll see you for next Wednesday's episode. Uh, uh, what? Zero uh, Tolerance is Extinction Part 2. Have a great day. Bye.